Hey guys, what's good? My name is Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited about today's video. It is a collection video and I really love these kind of videos. So I hope you do too. And of course you can tell from the name that it is going to be my Louis Vuitton SLG collection. Uh, I do have two non Louis Vuitton pieces that I think I'll just quickly start with uh, to get the ball rolling and just kind of get those out of the way and then we can get to the really good stuff. Uh, so yes, I will start with my smallest SLG and this is my Kate Spade card holder. Um, so on one side, it's just nice and sparkly and glittery and then on the other side, it has Kate Spade in a like mauve -y taupe type color. Um, it does have four card slots in the front and then it has a pouch in the middle. And yeah, I like to use this a lot when I'm using my smaller crossbody bags, when I'm using my um, Pusha Accessoire. This gives me so much space. Yes, this is my first SLG. All right, so my next SLG is Kate Spade as well. And I will actually link um, up here the video where I hauled this, um, but, but it's a light, dusty pink um, kind of just pouch. Um, as you can see, it's got three little pouches in here and I just kind of put knickknacks in here. Um, I'd like to use this either when I'm carrying my diaper bag or when I have bigger bags. I don't usually carry this if I'm using a smaller bag. But yes, I love the color. I think it's just so cute and I got it for a really good price. Let's go ahead now and get to the good stuff. <laughs> All right, so my very first SLG that I ever purchased is the Louis Vuitton Sarah Wallet in Multicolor Noir. It's got the Grenade interior. Uh, this piece was made in Spain, and this was my first Louis Vuitton purchase ever. Um, I bought this off of a reseller site called Vestier Collective, and it's still probably my favorite SLG. Um, I love the color. I just think it's beautiful. Like everything about this is so beautiful to me. I did review this. I will link above my review. This was my first like real YouTube video was reviewing this. So I feel like this will always kind of have a sentimental place in my heart. My next favorite SLG would be my Louis Vuitton six key ring holder. So this is in the Damier Abin print and the button is Rose Ballerine and the interior is the Rose Ballerine as well. As you can see, I definitely use this piece. Uh, I use every single key holder and this does fit my car fob and the fob to get into my apartment complex. And then I also did get this hat stamped. Um, it's probably one of my favorite pieces because I just use it so much. I use it every day. Um, typically, I will take the bigger car fob and just kind of have it out. Um, and it makes it just a little bit easier to close. I can still close it with it in, but usually I just like to have it out. I did surprise, surprise review this as well, and I'll link that above. This does have a slot in the back for you to insert a card or two. So if you really wanted to use this as kind of like a wallet, you could. Um, if you wanted to just have like your debit card and your ID and your keys, I mean, you would literally be good to go. Um, so yes, this is my six key ring holder. Um, my next SLG is my mini pochette and this is in the Damier Azure print. Um, I also got this from Vestier Collective and I, think I just have feminine products in here right now. Um, but yes, I use this as like a little catch-all. Um, in the summertime, I do intend on using this as just like a little mini purse with some of my lighter items. I think that would be so cute. Um, I really honestly do not use this much now. I actually don't think I've ever, I might have used it twice. I'm still really scared of the Damier Azure print. I'm just, I'm nervous of color transfer. I'm nervous of getting something on it. I'm nervous of oxidation or yellowing. Um, but I think it's a beautiful piece and I don't see myself parting with this anytime soon, but I definitely do. It is my goal this year to use this more. 
All right, so my next small leather good is the Rosalie coin purse, and it's called a coin purse, but really it's more of a wallet. Um, as you can see, it's got the monogram with the rose ballerine interior. Um, this is my newest purchase, and I'm already pretty obsessed with it. Um, I do like compact wallets. I like that it fits more than enough of what I need it to fit. Um, I think the color is super pretty and I like the fact that it does have the slot for the coins because I do carry coins. Um, yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about the Rosalie coin purse. Um, this item was made in Spain. Oh, I forgot to tell you the mini pochette was made in France and the Sarah wallet was made in Spain. And this might even be a must have for me. I do intend on filming a handbag essentials video soon, but I am just waiting to get the bag that I really want, which I will be getting soon. So be on the lookout for a bag unboxing. I'm, I'm really excited about that. My next SLG is actually going to be a strap. So this is the can't think of the official name of this strap but it's I believe this is the strap that goes with the yeah I don't know so I don't know the official name of this strap I will try to link it in the description box below um, but it is adjustable it does have the two little vaquetta and um, you know little slip things right here <laughs> So this is a crossbody Louis Vuitton strap. As you can see, it's monogram. It's got the D-ring uh, clasps. Um, yes, I purchased this off of the Louis Vuitton Addicted Facebook group. I believe it was like 325. And I don't know if, if it says like where straps are made. Like I don't, I don't see that anywhere. Um, but yes, this is one of my best purchases by far and one of my favorite SLGs. And I purchased this to go with <laughs> this next SLG. So this is, I mean, I kind of consider this a bag. Some people would definitely consider this an SLG. Um, but this is the pochette accessoire. And I normally attach this strap to this pochette and wear this as a crossbody bag. Um, as you can see, it is the monogram print. This item was made in Spain as well. And I put a cute little poof ball on the end of it. I purchased this from... I purchased this from Poshmark of all places. Um, and yeah, this is probably my most used SLG. But yes, this was my first like bag. And I feel like this bag will also kind of hold like sentimental value just because I, I take this bag with me everywhere. Like everywhere. All right guys, so that is it for my Louis Vuitton SLG collection. I know I have a smaller collection. I did start purchasing my items towards the later part of 2018. So I think, you know, for the time I've been collecting the items and for the pieces that I have, I feel like I'm off to a great start. I feel like I have a lot of variety. I feel like for what, you know, I have in this short amount of time that I, I feel good about it. There's nothing that I regret so far. Um, so yeah, Yes, thanks so much guys for watching this video. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I would really appreciate it if you are a new watcher, if you would like to subscribe to my channel. And again, I post videos three times a week. So be good to yourself and I will see you guys soon. Bye.